Hello, my favorite scientists. We are back today, even after you roasted me pretty hard on the last one. Thank you. Today, our topic is seasons. We've been talking about rotation, revolution, moon phases, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, but now we're talking about seasons. So what causes seasons? We know we have them, summer, spring, fall, winter, but why do we have them? So I texted some of my friends and family to see if they knew what the cause of seasons was and let's look at some of their responses. Did you get it? You're right. It's the tilt. It's the tilt of the earth. The northern, and this is the southern hemisphere. Let's say the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun at this moment. What season do you think the northern hemisphere is experiencing right now? You're right, summer, because it's tilted towards the sun. Now the Southern hemisphere is experiencing winter right now because this half of the earth is tilted away from the sun. So as the earth continues to revolve around the sun, the different hemispheres will either be tilted towards or away from the sun. Now, how about this one? Hang on, I need to draw it. Okay, so now the Southern Hemisphere is pointed towards the sun while the Northern Hemisphere is pointed away from the sun. So now, what season is the Southern Hemisphere experiencing? You're so smart. It's summer because it's tilted towards the sun and the Northern Hemisphere is now experiencing winter because this half of the Earth is tilted away from the sun. And right now, I wanna address some misconceptions. A lot of people think we have winter because the Earth is farther away from the sun at that time, but it's actually the exact opposite. In winter, the Earth is actually about 3 million miles closer to the sun than it is in the summer. Bubbling, eye popping. What is the cause of seasons again? It's all about the tilt. <laughs> Since y'all told me I needed better dance moves and you were cringing at my brain break, just please enjoy these bloopers as our brain break today. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, doggy. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> this is not my dog. <laughs> Say hi to my students. Say hi, student. My husband just got home. <laughs> Does he realize I'm trying to be a YouTuber? He's so, so nice. Do you like my dog voice? I think, oh my God, a fly is on my... <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. And I'm interviewing you right now. <laughs> oh, this is what he deals with, being married to a science teacher. I'm interviewing you right now. And I wanted to ask you, what is the cause of seasons? Jesus. Jesus is the answer for the world today. The reason for seasons is the earth being at a tilt. Specifically, it's at a 23.5 degree tilt, which is why we experience seasons. Not 
everywhere on earth experience seasons the same way. In Florida, their season is pretty much summer. Um, and, and there's a reason for that. So let's take the equator, for example. The equator is the, the middle of the earth. And the equator really doesn't experience much seasonal change. Do you know why that is? Hmm. The equator receives direct sunlight year round, which is why it doesn't experience much seasonal change. Speaking of direct sunlight, let's talk about the average temperatures of, let's say, Atlanta, Georgia. So in Atlanta, the average temperature in June is about 87 degrees Fahrenheit and the average temperature in December is about 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So why is that? Why is it colder in December if the earth is closer to the sun then? Hmm. But when we look at this picture, the Northern hemisphere where we are, where Georgia is, is tilted towards the sun in the summer which means Georgia is getting more direct sunlight in the summer than it is in the winter. We know more direct sunlight causes an area to be warmer, which explains these average temperatures. So now using what we just learned, I have a little quiz for you. Using this diagram, I want you to tell me what season the Southern hemisphere would be in starting from A and going all the way to D. So let's look at the first one together. We're looking at the Southern Hemisphere, which would be the bottom half. Because it is tilted away from the sun, that would be winter. Now, what season comes after winter? You're right, autumn or fall. After winter and autumn, we're looking at the southern hemisphere again, so the bottom part at sea. Well now at sea, the bottom part is tilted towards the sun, so that season would be... I'm waiting for you to say it out loud. Good! Summer! And then after summer, the season is spring. And then the seasons start over again. So the tilt of the earth and the revolution contributes to our seasons. So Tupac and Biggie wanted to say hi to you. They wanted to say that they miss you. You hear them squealing. They miss getting your love. Oh my. But we're doing good. We're here. We are at home. We are staying safe. And we hope you are too. What'd you say? They said to wash your hands and be safe and they miss you.